you can use the reload dashing exploit to travel very fast, very quickly. And in this video, I will show you how to use the reload dash exploit in Fallout New Vegas. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. In order to use this exploit, you will need a handful of things. You will need a 357 Magnum revolver and you will need at least two different types of ammo for this weapon. The amount of ammo doesn't really matter as long as you have some amount of two different ammo for this weapon. The first thing we will need to do is bind this weapon to a slot. So I'm going to go ahead and just bind it to there. And what you want to do is open the weapon using the slot. And if you now press the up D-pad arrow, then this should basically switch out your ammo for one ammo or another. Now this is a really simple trick to do, but if you're doing this for the first time, it can be a little confusing. What you want to do is press the up button on your D-pad. And as you're doing that on your left analog stick, you want to be moving forward. So what you want to do is move forward and whilst moving forward, press the up button on your d-pad which will basically force you to change your ammo type now whilst the ammo type animation is playing what you want to do is pretty much smash the pip boy button so that you force the pip boy to open now when the pip boy is open you still need to be holding down the analog stick to go forward whilst you're still holding down the analog stick to go forward what you want to do is when your pit boy opens is unequip this weapon and if you do it right what you will end up doing is moving really fast really quickly so i'm going to try and show you this in real time now now i'm going to try and demonstrate this in real time so what i'm going to do is press forward on the analog stick and as i'm doing that i'm going to press up on the d-pad as the ammo animation is playing i'm going to smash the pit boy button and with that the pit boy is open I am still holding down the forward analog stick and I'm going to now unequip the Magnum revolver and close the pit boy and this has now forced me to jump all the way from there, the entrance all the way here. So you can use this mechanic to really cover a lot of ground very very quickly. Now I'm going to try and do this one more time and then I'm going to show you a possible pitfall to doing this also. So I'm going to try and do this one more time. So the first thing I'm going to do is equip the weapon. I'm going to press forward on the analog stick. I'm going to press up on the D-pad. I'm going to smash the pit boy button. And now I'm going to unequip the revolver and close the pit boy. And notice that I pretty much traveled back exactly where I was all the way from where that sort of broken down vehicle is. And this is basically how you perform the reload dashing exploit. It allows you to cover a lot of ground very quickly allowing you to basically make really long trips relatively quite easily. Now I'm going to show you a possible downfall of doing this or a possible way of doing this that uh, could actually harm you instead. Now, when I traveled, I don't know if you noticed, I was actually looking down a lot. And that's because when you actually perform the glitch, what it does is it sort of slingshots you in the direction you're looking at. So if you're looking down, it tries to more or less tries to uh, say glue you to the floor. But if I happen to be looking up, then what this will do is fling me up instead. So let me show you what, I, what, what that means. I'm going to equip the weapon. I'm going to go forward and press up on the D-pad. So I'm switching the ammo, but I'm going to be looking up as well. Now the pit boy is open. I'm going to close uh, the pit boy before unequipping the weapon. And now notice that it sort of fling me up a little bit. And the reason that's happened is because either I was looking up or I might have hit something on the floor that's caused my trajectory to go up. Basically, what I'm trying to say is if you do it like that, you could end up in the sky and you could end up relatively quite high up. And if that happens, then you will end up falling. And if you fall, then you would most likely die. So you will need to be quite careful when using this. The reload dashing glitch will certainly help you to get to where you want to go a lot more quicker. Why not also check out the video you see on the screen now to help you level up quicker by using the infinite XP glitch in Fallout New Vegas. Click on the video you see on the screen now to find out more.